We have another new and exciting indie makeup release, and this one is from Nomad Cosmetics. They have just revealed their newest palette, which is the Keys Beachy and Peachy. Hello, if you're new here, my name is Rachel. Welcome. And if you're not new here, thank you so much for coming back. I am going to show you close-up swatches, three different looks, and at the end, I give you my initial thoughts. Now, of course, while I'm going through this, let me know your thoughts as you're seeing it, and I will link this collection down below in the description box when it becomes available. I will put any information that I do have down in the description box. Everything that is on my face in all three looks will be listed down in the description box, and let's do it. So let's just cut to the chase. I'm gonna show you this palette. So this is what the outside looks like. Super fun, tropical, beautiful. Now, I'll be honest with you, I guessed, I guessed the theme. Let's, let's give it up for me, okay? I guessed that it was gonna be the Florida Keys, just from the flamingos. I was like, yep, Florida, got it. I live in Florida. I'm not from Florida, but I live in Florida. So I'm excited about this, okay? And I have been to Florida Keys like two or three times, but it's been a while. Let me know if you've been to the Florida Keys or if it's on your list. It's definitely on my list to go back. Enough about me, let's talk about the palette. So this is what the inside looks like. A very bright and colorful tropical palette. Pretty much what I would expect Looking at the cover, we've got encapsulated in the shadows. We definitely have a good mix of mattes and shimmers, but it is matte heavy. Let me give you some information about this palette while I pop up close-ups and swatches. Tropical Goodness, a collection of tropical hues from sun-washed yellows, peaches, and key limes to richly soaked purples, blues, and sunset corals. 11 fun in the sun mattes and seven glistening on water shimmers inspired by the always sunny Florida Keys. Every time they do a new release, they donate to a special cause. And this release's cause is, we are proud to support the Dolphin Research Center that saves and protects dolphins and other marine mammals in the Florida Keys. So that's really exciting. At the moment of filming, I don't have any pricing information, but in the past when they've released a palette this size with their normal formula, like no multi-chromes or anything like that, the price has been $49. So I'm assuming it's going to be around that price. I do have an affiliate code with Nomad. It is Rachel. If you wanna save 10% on your purchase, you can use my code and I do get a small kickback when you use my code. So thank you so much if you do. The launch date is Tuesday, June 25th, around 12.01 a.m. Eastern time. I did receive this palette in PR from the brand. So thank you so much, Nomad. Uh, Nomad is one of my brands though, like one of my auto buy brands. If I didn't get it in PR, I was gonna buy it regardless. So I'm very happy to have it in my collection. You know, I'm a neutral lover, okay? And I'm not really one to reach for an all colorful palette other than for like a companion palette sake. But I did of course create three looks exclusively using this palette. You're gonna have to see, you're gonna have to see what they are. Could I do it? Could I do it? Could I create three colorful looks that I was happy with? You'll have to wait and see. And I'll let you know if this is the good Nomad quality that I've come to love. Of course, stick around to the end to hear my thoughts, but sound off in the comments after seeing this, after getting the information, what are your thoughts on this collection? Are you excited? Are you gonna pick it up? Are you gonna skip whatever it is? Let me know down in the comments. And now I'm gonna send you off to look number one. All right, let's do our first look with the Florida Keys palette. I know this clip looks so gorgeous. <laughs> We're going with it, okay? I knew, and I'm sure I already said this in the intro, I knew it was gonna be Florida Keys. I just knew, once I saw the flamingos, I just knew. When I look at this palette, I do see very distinct looks. Today, I think I'm gonna have time to do three looks. Of course, you will have already known that based on the thumbnail and the title of this video. I feel like today I'm gonna do a blue purple look. I also see like green yellow put together and also the corals, like I'm so excited for the corals, but I don't wanna do that today. I'm gonna do something like blue purple, I think. I have already primed my eyes and I'm gonna go in with the shade Close to Perfect, which is like a minty bluish green and I'm gonna put this through the crease. It is a pastel, so I don't presume it's gonna show up that great, but I just wanna have something as a transition shade. Next, I'm gonna go in with the shade Overseas Highway right here and just put this a little lower in the crease. Beautiful, very pigmented. Next, gonna go in with C Meet Sky and put this a little bit lower, maybe even in the outer corner.
These blues are working absolutely beautifully, like effortlessly. I feel like a dolphin. And lastly for the mats, I'm gonna go in with Key West, this like indigo, and put this in the very outer corner. All right, I put the NYX Glitter Primer on my lid and I'm gonna go into the shade Paradise Found and put this all over the lid. Very pretty. Wow, super beautiful. Very, very beautiful. All right, let's finish up with the lower lash line. You know me, I'm a simple girl. I'm basically just going to repeat the same mats that I use on my upper lash line. So I'm gonna go in with Key West, that indigo on a flat definer brush and just push this up against my lower lash line. I'm gonna blend that out with C Meet Sky. I'm gonna blend that out with Overseas Highway. I'm gonna put Prance from ColourPop in the waterline. For my inner corner, I'm gonna try close to perfect, but I think that it's going to be a little too deep, so I may layer a matte white from another palette on top. Actually, I think that works. It's close to perfect for an inner corner highlight for me. All right, I'm gonna head off camera. I'm going to finish up the rest of my look and come back to show you the final look. All right, and this is the finished look number one. What do you think? I think it came out really pretty, really, really pretty. Uh, as you know, blue is not my favorite color to wear. I'm not saying I'm not a blue girl because I have been enjoying wearing blue, okay? But these types of blues are my favorite blues where they are like true blues that have a cool undertone. They're not greenish blues. They're just like icy, true blues. I, I think they're so pretty and I love me a purple. So I love that little pop of indigo in here. Uh, if you like blues, I think you're really gonna enjoy this because there are a lot of blues, a lot of different blues. The blues that I were ta was talking about, but there also are these more like green leaning blues as well. Uh, so a lot of blues in here, which makes sense because of the theme, okay? I feel very oceany right now, or like a mermaid, something like that. It's pretty, I'm enjoying this look very much so. Uh, the blue mattes that I used were great. Not patchy, not hard to work with, really easy to blend, and the shimmer on the lid is really pretty. It's a standard shimmer, and after swatching this palette, all the shimmers are standard shimmers. So if you like Nomad standard shimmer formula, you would you would probably enjoy this, and I like, I like their shimmer formula, I think it's great, so. Yeah, all right, now I'm gonna send you off to the next look. Let's do a second look with the Florida Keys palette, and I wanna play with the corals today. I'm so excited for this. This is gonna be a pretty simple look, okay? I'm not reinventing the wheel here. I'm first gonna go in with the shade Shipwreck Trail right here, and just put this through the crease. Next, I'm gonna go in with the shade Sunset Celebration. And I'm gonna put this like in the outer corner into the crease. Looks like a very bright, vibrant shade. Look at that. Wow. Zero complaints. I'm gonna put the NYX Glitter Primer all over my lid. I'm first gonna go in with the shade Rum Runner here, more on like the middle part of my lid. And then I'm gonna go in with Key Largo and put this in the inner part of my lid. Ooh, 
That is so pretty. I love these tones. Yeah, I mean, the shimmers are just really pretty standard shimmers. They're not overly sparkly or shifty, but they are just really pretty, really smooth, really shiny. I love it. I'm gonna go off camera. I am gonna add some more face makeup and I will come back so we can finish the lower lash line together. All right, let's continue on. I'm gonna take a flat definer brush and go into Sunset Celebration and just run this on my lower lash line. Then I'm gonna go into Shipwreck Trail and just blend that out. That shade is pretty light, so I'm gonna go back into Sunset Celebration, that more neon coral and blend it out. And in my waterline, I'm going to use ColourPop's Good Reef. I'm gonna go into the shade Isla Mirada right here for an inner corner highlight. I definitely think it's gonna work. Yeah, I really like that. Actually, this is pretty neutral enough that I could use this with a few different looks. All right, and this is the finished look number two. What do you think? I love these tones. I love warm tones. Anything that has anything to do with orange, I'm here for it. So I think this came out really good. Now, while I was off camera and I was putting on my lashes, I actually ended up taking another palette out and getting a matte black and just drawing a little bit of a baby wing with the eyeshadow. I just didn't like how it looked with the eyeliner just on my upper lash line. So I winged it out a little bit and I, I like how that looks so much more. So all of the shades that I used in today's look worked out great. I didn't have any issues. I didn't have any problems with anything. So yeah. And now I'm gonna send you off to look number three. All right, let's do a third look with the key, I keep wanting to say Key West, Florida Keys palette. Uh, I wanna play with the yellows and the greens today. I'm wearing my yellow top to match. I've already primed my eyes. I'm gonna go in with the shade Key Lime Time and I'm gonna take it on a fluffy brush. I'm gonna blend it through my crease. Definitely much more pastel looking on the eyes than in the pan. All right, next I'm gonna go in with the shade Marathon over here and I'm gonna place this in the outer corner. I'm gonna do a cut crease. I'm actually gonna use this one from DD Signature. It's just a white base. And I'm going to carve out the empty space on my lid with this. This is the first time I'm using this white primer. It's really nice. Really, really nice. I'm gonna go in with the shade Far From Normal, this matte yellow, and I'm gonna set the base with this. This embossing reminds me of SpongeBob, which I love. I'm gonna pick up this shade Conch Republic this yellow, and I'm gonna put this in the middle where the yellow meets the blue. Really pretty. I did not put the NYX glitter primer down, I'm just going right in on the lid. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm first gonna line my lid and do a wing with the new black liquid liner from What's Up Beauty in the shade Kemet. All right, so I put some foundation, concealer, powder on while I was waiting for this black liquid liner to dry because I wanna go over it with the other What's Up Beauty 
Multi-chrome liner. Now, I have not used this yet, and it's been sitting in my drawer for a couple of weeks, and I definitely feel like I had to shake it a lot to get it to be visible. So I'm not sure how this is gonna look, but I would like to go over the black liner with this. This is in the shade Nibu, and it is like a green, yellow, blue multi-chrome liner. So let's try this. a little something but it's not really opaque but it added like a little sparkle that's pretty on my lower lash line in the waterline i'm gonna put a black this one is from ColourPop. it's in the shade swerve i'm gonna put it in the outer part of my waterline and i'm also going to smudge it a little bit under my lash line I'm just gonna take a little tiny brush and just smudge that out. For my inner corner, I'm gonna go into this pastel yellow called Sunrise Salute. I'm gonna take a tiny little brush and I'm gonna go into southernmost point right here and put this in the inner part of my lower lash line. I'm also gonna spray it just so it sticks. All right, I'm gonna go off camera. I'm gonna finish up the rest of this look, come back to show you the final look, and then to give you my initial impressions on this palette. All right, and this is the finished look number three. What do you think? I love this. It's giving SpongeBob, and I mean that in the best way possible. This is really fun. This is way, way different and way actually better than I thought it was gonna turn out. Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with this. I think it came out really pretty. So. Let me give you my initial thoughts on this palette. Now I will say quality wise, I feel like it's the good Nomad quality that I expect. I don't feel like there's anything that's different about this compared to their last few palettes. The mattes are great pigmented, easy to work with. The pastels showed up on me. Now, of course I am of a light skin tone. The shimmers are pretty, their standard shimmer formula where it is just a really pretty shiny metallic. Not sparkly, not shifty, but just a really pretty shiny metallic, which I enjoy. I enjoy that type of shimmer very much. Color story wise, of course, you know me, if you've been here before, I love neutrals or like neutrals with a twist. This is a little out of my comfort zone. So this isn't like my favorite color story they've ever done, but I know a lot of people out there love colorful shadows, and this could be a good option for you if you enjoy the Nomad formula that they usually have. Uh, I will say most of this is mid-tone to light. There's really only one deepening up shade. I feel like if there was one thing I would change about this, I would maybe make one of these blue mattes, like a deeper green or even a matte black, which of course, can I reach into another palette to get those shades? Absolutely, absolutely. But if I'm judging this as a standalone palette, I definitely wish there was maybe one deeper matte in here because this is really the only one that you get. But other than that, quality wise, I think it's fantastic. I really enjoy the theme. I think it's super fun. It makes sense for the summer. It makes sense for obviously their line that they have. So yeah, I would love to know your thoughts down in the comments. Let me know if you're planning on picking this up. Let me know if this is something that intrigued you. Let me know if you're skipping on it. Whatever your thoughts are, let me know down in the comments because I love hearing from you. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot when you do that. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing before you leave. I do upload videos weekly and I'd love to see you back on my channel again. I want to thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.